just seeing it from just started I think my first stand-up comedian who I had seen was Jim Carrey in live it was in live in color I think it was called and then just you know recently uh, just seen a bunch of comics you know com following Comedy Central and you know through Netflix and I really later it was because I've been doing this for about six months now and I'm like you know that can be you know, this is something I can do because I've always my entire life I've tr tried to make people laugh it's just been something that I always love so just figure you know what I'll give it a shot and I love it I did nine minutes, and it was, I would say, for my first time, it was pretty good. Uh, I got laughs, which was nice. I got my feet wet, just got, you know, put myself out there, and yeah, I, it was a big, it was a big turning point, I would say. I think my favorite has to be John Mulaney's new from last year, uh, The Comeback Kid. That was so, so well crafted, and I, you know, I, I, I respect the guy so much and, he, and his style of humor. It's kind of similar to what mine is, sort of observational, autobiographical. Uh, that, Pat, big fan of uh, Pat Oswalt, Louis C.K. of course. I love uh, probably another favorite would be Pat uh, Pat Oswalt. Uh, This is strong, is great. Uh, Louis C.K. Live at the Beacon Theater, George Carlin, all of his, all of his albums. It's like that's where I started. I think, and where I started to find my voice. Seinfeld. That was one of the first ones that I uh, grew up on. That was, you know, my, my dad introduced that to me. Seinfeld. You know, and I'm a big fan of Jerry too. I should have mentioned. Uh, everybody loves Raymond too. I just you know the silly family humor. Jeez, uh, yeah, I didn't watch a lot of television growing up. That's the problem. But uh, I, I guess comedy movies, uh, The Mask. Uh, you know, again, Jim Carrey. He was a big, probably my biggest influence when I first started. Uh, just you know, silly stuff. Comedy movies. The Odd Couple. Uh, anything with anything with Robin Williams. You know, I loved his stuff, even his stand-up. I guess just yeah, any sort of just silly comedy. I guess. I would say probably probably John Mulaney. Um, I, yeah, I, that guy, I think, I, I would choose John because I think I have the most in common with him. He's the comedian who I see my, most of myself, and he actually inspired me to do stand-up. Um, but, um, yeah, I think I could learn a lot from that guy. Immediately, Don Rickles. Um, I would say I. Don Rickles, George Carlin would be so much fun. Um, probably, what is his name? I can never remember any comedians' names. Tom Segura would. Tom, he, Tom Segura seems like he'd be a funny guy to roast. To be roasted, to be roasted by. Maybe Pete Holmes. Just because he's such a nice guy, I'd, I just I'd love to see what he comes up with. And lastly, uh, maybe Kevin Hart or something. He's he's a pretty funny guy. He's pretty different. In LA, uh, I'm planning on moving in the next few years to do comedy and pursue acting. So, yeah, next five years I see myself doing clubs in L.A., uh, making up 
probably still making a name for myself. And, and just, you know, doing our sets, you know, doing new stuff, writing, you know, I'm writing, <clears throat> at least coming up with new ideas almost every day. So, so hopefully people will start to know my name. But, I would say improv. I, I'm actually I'm taking some classes next year for improv because it's just something I don't have a lot of training on, and I would I would like to. Um, uh, yeah, I'd, yeah. Um, I, I look forward to finding my voice more with stand up and getting better. I think it's been it's been the hardest. Stand up has been one of the hardest things I've ever done, but it, I've gotten so much out of it. So it's it's. Um, Totally, it's absolutely worth it. And other types of comedy, I suppose. Um, boy, maybe, maybe just theatrical, and just try and um, you know, just doing the live comedy and grabbing the, you know, having having that energy that can really grab an audience, and just you know, I guess I guess the same with improv, you know, be, being able to riff and to, I guess, just have fun with people. I just made a Twitter account. They can find me uh, missed at uh, Mr. Ryan Utterback on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I have a I have a page, and then my action. You can actually find my uh, my regular uh, Facebook. Uh, you can find Instagram again. It's uh, again at Mr. Ryan Utterback. So uh, yeah, I'm on I'm on those three, and I'm sorry. And you'll probably you'll see. Uh, I'll because I you know I'll be posting like shows that I'll be doing. I guess just look at, you know, thinking, you know, look at this guy, he, this guy, this guy can make ordinary situations comedic, he, and this guy can really, uh, this guy can make us smile, because I think that's, that's my, I know that's my goal, I think that's a lot of comedians' goals, is to just make people happy. Yeah, I'm Ryan Nutterback. Check me check this out on acutiepie.com.